good morning dear students in the previous class we were discussing about motion since motion is nothing but change of position with time so these two quantities will play an important role that is path length and displacement so let us see what is path length and what is displacement path length is also sometimes known as distance so it is the time total distance an object travels from initial to final position that means the entire distance which you are covering that that is why it is also known as path length that means the entire path through which you are reaching your destination from your initial position is known as path length right now what is displacement displacement is nothing but the shortest distance between initial and final position please note this point it is the shortest distance that means while we talk about displacement we are not bothered about the path which was followed to reach the final position from the initial position it is the only the shortest distance from initial to final position so let us take this example to understand the difference between the path length and the displacement let us suppose a small boy riding a bicycle initially the boy is at rest now he starts moving he goes from his house to this church now again from the church he comes to this mcdonalds so now what was the change in position of the boy the boy was changing his position with time first from home he reached till church then again from church he reached till mcdonalds right so in this case what is the total distance covered by this boy when i say total distance i mean the entire length of the path so what was the path followed by the boy first he, he followed this path then he followed this path right this is the total path that is followed by the boy that means when i talk of path length as i mentioned before path length is the total length of the path the total distance that the boy has covered from initial position to final position what was the initial position that means the starting point so this was his initial position and this is final position so right so now so we will consider this point as a and this is b and this is c now what is the total path length that is he traveled from home to church then church to mcdonald that means the path length is nothing but ab plus bc so path length equals ab plus bc ab plus bc so here what would be the displacement in this case so you know that displacement is nothing but the shortest distance between the initial point and the final point so here so now when i talk of displacement i am not bothered about the path which was followed by the boy i am only bothered about the initial position and the final position so this is my initial position and this is the final position so what is the shortest distance between this initial and the final position so that is ac so the ac is the shortest distance between the initial and final position so what will be the displacement then so displacement is equal to ac so displacement ac is the shortest distance between the initial and the final position so displacement is ac so now you understood the difference between path length and displacement so now if you see in a way 
both the quantities path length and displacement is actually talking about how the position of an object changes with time right but there is a difference between the two now let us look at an example when path length is equal to displacement let us suppose the boy starts from his home and he goes directly to mcdonalds right so in this case what is the distance so this is the path followed by the boy so your path length is ab path length will be equal to ab yeah that means we'll consider this initial point as a and uh, final position as b so here yeah, then uh, what will be the displacement in this case so here yeah, here also displacement is ab only so displacement is equal to ab so because this is the initial position and this is the final position so the shortest distance between the initial and final position is ab only so displacement also will be equal to ab so in this case path length is equal to displacement right why it became same because in this case the boy followed the shortest route between the initial and the final point so when the object will follow the shortest path between the initial and the final point in that case your path length or distance will be equal to displacement so let us look at an another example where your path length is not equal to 0 but your displacement is equal to 0 that means your distance is not 0 that means the object is actually covering some distance but the net displacement comes out to be zero interesting right so let us look at an example so let us consider the same example the boy starts from his home he goes to the mcdonalds and again he comes back from the mcdonalds immediately so in this case what is the path length what is the total path covered by the boy so here he starts from his home and reaches mcdonald if he forgot his wallet so he comes back to home immediately so let us take this position as a and a mcdonald position as b so what is the path length so that means so he reached he from home he reached mcdonald again he returns back so path length path length is so is nothing but twice of ab so path length twice of ab so twice is uh, uh, traveling so on the same way so twice of ab so what is the displacement then so displacement is nothing but the shortest distance between the initial and the final position so initial point is his house final also the same point so the shortest distance between the initial and final point so since both are same the displacement will be equal to zero so dear students i hope you all understood the difference between the path length and displacement so we shall continue in the next class take care bye